All right, guys, so this question reads, a 24-year-old female presents to her primary care with uh, family over concerns for behavior seen after eating meals. Patient has been purging after meals. There is, there is evidence of excessive eating. Her BMI is 19. What is the most appropriate diagnosis? Is it A, anorexia, B, binge eating disorder? Is it C, bulimia, or D, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder? So you're, you're almost guaranteed to see at least one question that kind of differentiates these three. But, you know, really there's all the information that you have uh, that's going to be presented to you is all, really all you need as far as this question. Because you got the BMI, okay? Now the, the key with the BMI is you got to know what normal is. And that's very important on the step exams because they're not going to say a patient is overweight, underweight, or anything like that. They're just going to give you a BMI. So you have to know that between 18 to 25, uh, BMI is going to be normal. Okay, so anything below 18, uh, you're going to say is underweight. Anything above uh, 25, you know, 20, uh, you know, 26 to 30, you're overweight, and then uh, 30 plus, you're obese. But what you got to know is this is normal. So this person has a normal BMI, but they have these behaviors, right? Patient has been purging, and there's there is evidence of excessive eating. Now that's and that's all you need to answer these questions because to differentiate these basic three. You really all you have to do is know this this little box here, and we'll put anorexia. We'll put uh, we'll just put bulimia number two, and then we'll put uh, binge eating right here. And then uh, of course we'll have our little three boxes here, and so really all you got to do is 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 are they uh, underweight? Okay, because if they're underweight, meaning what less than eighteen. And we're going to know this one. And then here, this category, we're just going to say this is going to be the is there binge eating, okay? Is there binge eating? And then the last little uh, category here, you just have to know whether there is a compensatory, uh, you know, compensatory uh, behavior. Now, this compensatory behavior, this could be anything such as uh, purging, okay, uh, fasting, that would be a compensatory behavior. Um, excessive exercise, you might see that one. That's a good, that's a good one because, you know, we're so used to say, oh, there's got to be vomiting. No, no, there just has to be a compensatory behavior. Purging, fasting, excessive exercise. Um, underneath purging, you know, that's your classic uh, vomiting. You could, they could be using laxatives, uh, enemas, and diuretics. Anything there, any action, any compensatory behavior that they're doing uh, to, to lose weight. So if you know their BMI, and in the question stem, you'll know whether they're binge eating, and, you know, which is just excessive eating beyond the normal amounts within a normal time period, they're gonna have to give, make it very clear to you. And they're gonna have to tell you whether there's a compensatory uh, mechanism or not. You'll be able to differentiate between anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating. Guaranteed you're gonna see this. So with anorexia, is it underweight? Yes. Uh, so we're just gonna put yes in that category. And again, that has to be less than what? Less than 18. And in bulimia and binge eating, it's gonna be no for underweight, okay? Now, is there binge eating? Now here, binge eating compensatory behaviors. Here's the key. For anorexia, you could or could not have either one of those. So the key with, with anorexia is what? BMI. So anytime on those step exams that I see a BMI of less than 18, I'm going, I'm going to be pretty much going with anorexia unless there's some other compelling reason, but I don't know of one. Okay. So the whole key with anorexia is, is the BMI less than 18? And if so, go with it because these t other two can be there or, or could not be there. They don't have to be to meet criteria. They could be there or could not be there. So the only thing with anorexia, again, is BMI. So so you better know what normal is, and you, and you better know that below 18 is going to be anorexia. Now, with bulimia and binge eating, they both have the binge eating, right? So you're like, all right, well, that doesn't help. We know it's not anorexia in, in certain cases because of the BMI, right? Because these guys have a normal BMI, 18 or over. Uh, for it's not underweight. Let's just put it that way. So then the question becomes: the compensatory uh, is is there a compensatory behavior, such as purging, fasting, excessive exercise, vomiting, laxative, enema, diuretic? They can interchange any one of these, you know. And in this question, what do we say? We just said there is evidence of excessive eating. We could have said there is evidence of fasting. There is evidence of potential, you know, diuretic pills. 
uh, being used excessively uh, or just in general. Or there could be excessive exercise. We could replace that uh, in this question stem. So in this question, is there um, compensatory behaviors? Yes. Now, back to this, the chart, I'm sorry. With bulimia, there is compensatory behaviors. In binge eating, there are not. So it's really very simple, but you have, you know, you just have to play with this, understand this little chart here. Three things, anorexia, bulimia, binge eating. I first go and look for my BMI, because if it's a low BMI, I'm going with anorexia, it would be hard, because all this other stuff could or could not have to be there. And it doesn't have to be there to be criteria. You just have to have low BMI. And then I'm like, all right, well, chances are there's going to be binge eating because the last two criteria are bulimia and binge eating. And then I say, is there a compensatory behavior? And if I can find one, I'm going with bulimia. If there's not a compensatory behavior, well, then they're just binge eating, okay? And again, these people could have BMIs of, you know, 20, uh, you know, 26, you know, no, it could, anything above uh, 18. All right, so officially this question, it says 24-year-old female presents to her primary care with family. Uh, with family over concerns for behavior seen after eating meals. The patient has been purging, so we have compensatory behaviors, okay? There is evidence of excessive eating, okay? BMI um, is, you know, normal, so I know it's not anorexia. It's got to be bulimia, answer choice C. And what I'll do, guys, is on those uh, short videos, I'll have pr uh, pretty much all the different scenarios and just kind of change some things out. So, you know, go ahead and just make sure you have those or watch those and play with them. But understand this. If you understand this, you're going to get it right. And it's really not that bad. Again, underweight, anorexia, everything else does have, you know, pr does have the binge eating. And then you just have to ask yourself, is, are there any compensatory behaviors that match bulimia? If not, go with binge eating. Hope it was helpful, guys.